Let's go, guys. 30 seconds, 20 seconds left. Oh, God. Please show something interesting. And please let Luke be cool. I want to play Luke next week. Let's go. Run, Luke! Go now! What's he talking about? Huh? I started to run like someone suddenly kicked me in the rear. But behind me, my father was... Listen! Everyone needs to get away from here now! Move quickly! Run! 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 <laughs> Just run! Just run! Go! Until that incident, I thought... My father was just a simple, quiet, and reserved man. But that's not true. I was totally wrong. So now... I've decided to fight my own battle. Someday... I want to become a man like him! So we got debated when it comes to his dad. Everyone's like, okay, it's gonna be Guile or Nash. Street Fighter V Fall Up Date へようこそ。Street Fighter V のディレクターの中山です。Street Fighter V プロデューサーの松本です。冒頭でルークのストーリーの一部をご覧いただきました。今回はルークのショーケースとなります。はい、中山さん、ルークとお父さんの。話がめちゃめちゃシリアスだったんですけど、まあ、今後のルークがどんな人物かって知る上では展開気になりますねこれは。さあ、ね okay, ルークの幼少期のストーリーを少し見ていただきましたね。あの事件はルークの人生にどう影響を与えたか。ストリートファイター5のキャラクターとどう関わっていたか。ぜひルークのストーリーをプレイしてみて体験していただきたいと思います。はい、ぜひ楽しみにしておいてください。さて、今回の番組では、yeah, ミスマジカなルークにフォーカスしたお話ができればと思っていますでは、ルークの性能を見ていただきましょう well, let's see.、Okay. まずは、ルークの通常技、ユニーク技ですねルークは前進しながら攻撃する技が多く積極的に前に出るオフェンシブなバトルスタイルが特徴で中間距離から一気に自分のペースに持ち込むことができます立ち状態から放つパンチボタンの攻撃は弱、中、強、いずれも練習しながら攻撃するアクションになります。Okay. So、he moves forward a lot. どの技もリーチが長いので、動こうとする相手の出花をくじくように使うと効果的です。Oh, wow. His range is amazing. トリプルインパクト。中パンチからはスナップバックコンボといったターゲットコンボにつないでダメージを伸ばしたり必殺技キャンセル可能な強パンチから必殺技に連携させる使い方が強力です、so、he does have an uppercut. パンチは足元を狙った攻撃に打ち勝ちやすいタッチ中キックや。His pokes seem really strong so far. He has a cancel of the Shagami Chu Kick, and he has a lot of use of the Solo. Chu Kan Kyori is a very good one. He has a crash counter of the Nero Mo in the show. Luke has a crash counter of the Nero Mo in the show. Luke has a crash counter of the Nero Mo in the show. Luke has a crash counter of the Nero Mo in the show. Luke has a crash counter of the Nero Mo in the show. ヘビーインパクトはルークの通常技特殊技の中でもリーチが長い上通常ヒットでも8弱キックやトリプルインパクトがコンボになる構成の技です、wow, really、like, far away take a look at that it looks so far but because he's moving forward he can actually make it クラッシュカウンター時は地表パンチが連続してくるので牽制からとても大きなダメージを見込めます That's basically like Ryu was dead hard kick. Yeah, it's basically Ryu standing hard kick. 
相手の立ち技やジャンプの出かかりを止める技として使っていきましょう。あ、oh, you can juggle,、uh, juggle situation in the corner. This should be interesting. ジャンプ攻撃に対する耐久技として使うと、相手に攻め込むチャンスとなる。あ、that's an interesting anti-air. You actually get OK off of that. 殺技の紹介です。高速の飛び道具を放つサウンドブラスト。対空技として使いやすいライジングアッパーといったスタンダードな技の他に、Take a look at that. An easy to use anti-air. ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ノーチェイサー、ですがルークの代名詞的な必殺技といえばフラッシュナックルになるでは前進しながら相手に強烈なパンチを出す必殺技となります強度によってパンチの種類が異なり弱・中盤はコンボに強盤は牽制に使いやすくなっています特に強盤はダメージが高くヒット時はダウンを奪えることに加えガードされても反撃を受けづらい中間距離の主力となる必殺技です隙あらばこの技で攻め込んでいきましょうさらにフラッシュナックルはコマンド入力後にパンチボタンをホールドすると攻撃直前のモーションで力を貯めるという特徴があります、uh, gets interesting wall bounce as well. And the range is absolutely insane. 性能がアップし弱中盤は人時に追撃を狙えるようになり強盤はガードされてもルークが先に動けるようになります。Oh, that's plus on block, so that's a free parry that I need to take there. 弱中盤のフラッシュナックルを入力し、ホールド盤が成立した直後にボタンをリリースすることで、コンボに組み込むことも可能です。ホールド盤のフラッシュナックルを絡めたコンボの爽快感、ダメージの高さは、他のキャラクターにない特徴となります。自在にホールド版を扱うには少し慣れが必要かもしれませんがコンボや編成に活躍するルークの主力技となっているのでぜひ使いこなせるように練習してみてください。続いてルークの V システムの紹介になりますまずは V スキルの性能を見ていきましょう V スキル1ハードショットはフラッシュナックルを強化する V スキルになります強化されたフラッシュナックルはホールドなしでホールド版と同等のフラッシュナックルが発動するようになります OK That's kind of, that's really good. ハードショット後にフラッシュナックルのボタンホールドを行うと通常時のホールド版よりさらに高性能なフラッシュナックルが発動しますジャック中盤はヒット時に追撃可能な技が増え普段よりさらにダメージの高いコンボが狙えるようになりますはガードされた際の有利時間が増加しヒット時は追撃可能になるというとても強力な技になりますあおまいガーですがビューリーアメイジングウォッドスフィスケルトゥーニングスタッフントゥープラスムーズウォッドシュビーパニシャブルハードショットは効果発動までに少し時間がかかるためダウンを奪った後や遠距離で様子見をする相手に対して発動しその後の展開を有利に運びましょう V スキル2はサプレッサーという技です一度後ろに下がった後勢いをつけたボディーブローを繰り出しますこの技の特徴として交代部分に投げ技に対するカウンター判定があります A counter against throws うまく相手の投げを避けた場合
シュナインストとイメージ V ゲージ増加量がアップしますわあ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、サプレスターは必殺技キャンセル可能となっているので投げ技へのカウンター発生時は状況を確認して EX フラッシュナックルなどにつなげダメージの高いコンボを狙っていきましょう投げ技に対するカウンター判定はすぐに発生するわけではないので防御時に切り返しとして使うには不向きですが近距離での攻めの選択肢として強力な技です Oh, wait a minute, you can bait your opponent into late teching and go for that move to trigger it. If you know your opponent's gonna late tech, you can bait that. The trigger is 1, 2, and the trigger is the V timer. 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 Wait, what? If you hit someone, it actually, you're gonna, it's gonna increase. Wait, the V, the V trigger just increase, increases if you hit someone. Oh, I didn't know that one was a trigger. Wait, 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 wait. V トリガー1レンジアームズは飛び道具必殺技のロックブレイカーとサーモバリックが使用可能になる V トリガーですレンジアームズ発動後は強パンチと強キック同時押しで飛び道具を3発立て続けに放つロックブレイカーが発動しますロックブレイカーは通常技やターゲットコンボサンドブラストからキャンセル発動することもできる使いやすいバトですもう一つの専用技であるサーモバリックは EX サンドブラストからのみ発動できる専用技となります発動できる場所が限られている分派手な演出とともに大ダメージを与えることができます V トリガー2バンガードはフラッシュナックルから別コードのフラッシュナックルへキャンセル発動が可能となる V トリガーです通常版、ホールド版、どちらもキャンセル可能になるほか V スキル1のハードショットによる強化版も組み込むことができ一度のコンボで与えるダメージが大きく増加します高い攻撃力を縦に接近戦を仕掛け相手にプレッシャーをかけていきましょう。Yeah, as well, I want to talk about that. I want to talk about that in a second. I think that's interesting. Luke に V トリガーを発動された場合、既存のキャラクターのように、距離を取って安全に V トリガーが終了するのを待つといった戦法を取れません。相手はどうしても接近せざるを得なくなるので、ルークの攻撃を受けて、攻めやすくなります。そして、ルークはうまく V タイマーを管理できれば、一度のチャンスで大きなダメージを奪えるトリガー発動中の時間を長時間維持することができます。シーズン5、最後の一人、ルークの紹介をさせていただきました。I would love to pause right now and comment on this because it's so interesting. Like, it's not a dumb V trigger like the rest of like, some of the V triggers. If you think about it, a lot of criticism for V trigger is because you can just pop it and then get a free comeback, right? With Luke, it's actually different because if you get hit, you get punished severely for losing. You're gonna lose V trigger because of that, right? I actually like that a lot. It solves a major issue that a lot of V triggers have. Actually, it's gonna cause less scrambles, though. I don't think it's gonna cause more scrambles. 
The scramble situations aren't as crazy as they used to be. Previously, you could lose the entire time, and then you pop V trigger, or you pop V trigger, and you still lose. You get get hit, and then you get one opening, and you kill your opponent. Right? With Luke, I think it's actually going to be different. I also like Luke. Seems like looks pretty cool. He has some really interesting way to. The way he moves and stuff is really interesting. Also kind of crazy the way he can zone. I gotta say, I really, I gotta, I really like Luke so far, especially because like he seems very different from other characters, and the approach to V Trigger is very unique, and I wonder how it's gonna play out. Teching against Luke is going to be incredibly dangerous with V-Skill 2. I think that's going to create a lot of hype moments. It doesn't look that great. Well, the FPS on this video is not that great. It's not 60 FPS, so maybe it's that. I think he looks great. He looks good. I, I still wonder if he's a motion character or not. Because I have an... He's probably not. From what I've seen so far, it looks like he's like, like Ed. It's really interesting how you get rewarded for staying patient with your V-Gage. You can have infinite V-Trigger if you're using it properly. See that? That was amazing! That V-Skill 2 is, is just too good. Street Fighter League or Capcom Pro Tour. Let's see. I mean, Street Fighter League is part of the CPT, right? But yeah, Capcom Cup. Let's go. Wait, February? I thought it was March. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wasn't it March? Oh wow, they moved it to February. They announced it for March initially, right? That's gonna be it. Angry Bird solidifies his spot in Capcom Cup. Do you believe in fate? I'm pretty sure they said March at one point. just like this, and Mago is your first qualifier! Exclaiming again who he is. I am Mago. A week long celebration. I will fight you. Yo, that's optimization. And he's done it again. Can we really expect anything? Exhibition match. We should have Ice DD versus MEZ Jimmy there. I dare you. It's right here. You don't even have to go anywhere. 
I bought it to you. Dream matchup for Street Fighter Five, man. Yeah, focus. Glad you enjoyed this. I'm enjoying this too. I thought it was going to be in March. Wow, they so they moved it forward. I have to look up how or where I saw that. Oh yeah, I've seen this announcement as well. Oh, the balance patch is in March. Right. That's why I thought it was going to be in March. This actually looks like a lot of fun, I gotta admit. Yeah! They're actually going to have Ryu from Fortnite. I mean, this looks pretty cool, I gotta say. Yeah, they got the Pocket Fighter model, right? It's kind of fun. November 29th. Nobody believes me when I tell them. え、これらやすでに配信済みのシーズン I mean, I already got the pass, so whatever. We don't need a balance patch talk when you're going to release the next balance patch in, in four months. And yeah, we don't know whether it's a motion character or um, or not. I think it's n it's not a motion character. I think it's like Ed. I think he's like Ed. But we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, this is the first time that we've been あの、こういった形で、ユーザーの皆さんとコミュニケーションが取れるってことが、あの、我々にとってものすごく嬉しかったです。え、今回でストリートファイター 5 我々開発メンバーはこの経験を糧にして次のプロジェクトに進んでいきます。番組は終了してしまいますけども、これは最後ならという意味じゃなくて、また今度という意味になりますので、来年皆様に情報を届けてくることを楽しみにしています。So yeah, actually, we tried something different to better communicate. Street Fighter Five Summer Update. Hey, yo, kusso. Yeah. 今回最初に発表させていただくキャラクターは最強流の使い手ダンになります。Oh my god, he looks incredible! Oh, he's got... Oh, dude. Oh my god, Dan looks so annoying. Oh, I love it. Oh! Uh, yeah, I'm in the... Insane, what? Bro. I was about Gross. to joke. I was about to joke and say... Oh my god. Where's what? the MDZ Jimmy cameo here? Oh, and I'm act I actually made it. Happening. What? He's so different and interesting. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that way makes me w right. way more happy that Carl's it should have. Pretty crazy in Street Fighter Five. Oh, he looks annoying, which is good. Oh my god, bro, this looks so hard to learn. She needs Justice Gaku Ekara. Oh, I'm a Kazama Akira. I can't say through the Rival Schools, yes! They went above and beyond! 
but there's the benefit. Like a two-use Nadeshko V trigger. <laughs> <laughs> You're into it, yeah. What the hell? What? The hell? what? <laughs> what just? Wait. What did I just see happen? Was that the new did mechanic? He... I love the way it visually looks. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is gonna change everything. I'm still in it. What a nice presentation. <laughs> Absolutely. That was another one and a half. Oh, wow. Really that's actually that's phenomenal. Awesome. I was not expecting was this nice. to make I an appearance there. <laughs> they better pay me. No, honestly, I'm honored to be uh, shown there. Yeah, uh, it kind of shows me that I am part of the FTC. Um, that that actually made my day right there. I, I have to say that that was very unexpected for me. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> I was not expecting to see my own face there. Okay, um, where should I start? Um, uh, Luke is kind of interesting. I gotta I gotta say, uh, Luke, um, a bit of a surprise to me. Um, I find like his V skill too, the mechanic against throws really interesting because you can use it offensively and not just defensively because your opponent is rarely going to come up to you and throw you. I mean, okay, it's going to happen quite a bit. Actually, it's going to happen quite a bit, but you can actually force it. You can go into a situation where you're going to be where you're going to force a late tech from your opponent and then you're going to get the activation on that. I think that's really, really cool. In general, I think Luke looks cool. I really wonder though, is it is he going to be a motion character? Because probably not. And is this going to have any, is this kind of an indication of the next chapter for Street Fighter? Because like, I can't imagine they go full motionless in Street Fighter 6. But let's say Luke is supposed to be the new main face of Street Fighter 6. But they're still going to have Ryu. So basically they're going to have like new characters with motionless inputs. But also the the old school characters, Ryu and, and everybody else with the, the, the regular set. I wonder how this is going to work. They didn't say he's motionless, no. But... I don't know, something about the presentation kind of made it seem to me at least. Maybe maybe I'm reading too much into it. It looked like it was motionless. Especially like when they said, oh, he has an uppercut, which is very easy to use. Why would they say that? Because the Shoryuken is not easy to use for beginners. So they kind of gave us a hint, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I, I have to say, I'm not sure what this means entirely. Uh, the fall update, I gotta say, it was perfectly in line with our expectations, right? Nothing crazy. I, at the end, I saw myself on the stream. That was definitely crazy. Not expected. <laughs> okay. Um, but other than that, everything else was... Um, in line with with what we want to see, right? We have a like. I didn't think Capcom Cup is gonna happen in February though, so it's a little bit earlier than I expected. Which means Street Fighter Six announcement is gonna be happening a little bit earlier than I expected. That's like wait one two. That's less than three months from now. Like think about that for a second. In less than three months. We're probably, maybe, hopefully, gonna have an announcement for Street Fighter 6. That's not long. Three months, that's nothing. When is Capcom Cup? Uh, February. We don't know exactly when, but sometime in February 2022. Uh, 2020, yeah, 2022. Um, and I thought it was gonna be March, because the patch is gonna come out in March. The balance path for Street Fighter V is going to come out in March, and so, like apparently Capcom Cup is going to be before that. I thought they're going to come out together essentially right after Capcom Cup, uh, but that's apparently not the case, and I really wonder why. Luke, in my opinion, looks great. 
I, I really like the character uh, design. Movement mechanics are interesting. His V-Trigger, let's talk about his V-Trigger. Um, his V-Trigger is very unique. Like, I've not seen that before. Um, the fact that you gain V-Trigger if you don't use it seems kind of weird. But it it really, it makes it, it makes the, the, it makes it an interesting mechanic because Lou can't just spam V-Trigger because if he does that, he's just going to lose his V-Trigger early on. It's not going to be an efficient way to do that. So what you're looking for is you need to get an opening even after you pop V-Trigger, right? Because if he hits you with the V-Trigger, if he hits you, he's going to gain V-Gage. But if, if you get an opening on him, he's going to lose V-Gage instead. So unlike the other V-Triggers that have like like what feels like an infinite timer, like just think about G. Um, G pops V-Trigger and then he has an infinite amount of time to eventually land a hit and then you're dead. That's it. And instead, Luke actually gets punished. If you land a hit on Luke while his V-Trigger is activated, he gets punished. He doesn't just get a free comeback tool like that. And I wonder if something like maybe that, maybe that is a mechanic change for Street Fighter VI. Um, I was I was paying attention to all of the mechanics, and I was like, okay, is this maybe part of Street Fighter VI? I think the most obvious hint at Street Fighter VI, as in terms of mechanics, first of all, motionless input might might actually be more prominent. I have a hard time believing they're going to remove motions entirely, but that, I think, is going to be more prominent, um, which I personally don't like, but whatever. Um, but the throw, the throw and the counter throw, like the counter uh, to the, like, a parry for throws, that's a really new thing, because so far... Um, so far, this has really been different. I'm not sure, actually. How, how does it work in Third Strike? You can't parry a throw, right? So just like in Street Fighter V, when you, try, when you parry, I mean, you're just going to get thrown, right? Um, so it's really interesting to try to cover the opposite end of the spectrum with, the, with, with throws. Um... It might also mean that, like, if we're gonna go this direction, okay, let's just assume this is something related to Street Fighter VI, okay? Throws might actually play a completely different role in that game if, um, if there's gonna be a parry mechanic for throws there. That should be interesting. Um, maybe, maybe that's actually one thing that they thought about. Reintroduce the parry from Third Strike because it's a beloved mechanic, but with a twist. I can see that. I can actually see that work. Um, it just depends on what kind of game are they building around that. Um, very, very interesting. Very interesting. He also lost some gauge from blocking slightly. This is a, also interesting. So you're in a hurry, essentially, to do something about that, right? Uh, very unusual. Very unusual. So you can't just keep blocking. You actually get punished for even blocking. So you gotta pay attention and use a uh, pop V trigger at the right time and not just pop it and then have whenever you want to get that comeback, you just go get it. Uh, very annoying stuff um, for G, right? G in particular. Um, I'm not a fan of G and I think I'm actually going to make a video on G just so you know how much I don't like G and his character design. So I'm very happy to see Luke. With a with a twist on how V Trigger works, um, because I think I think people really started to hate um, the 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 V system for no good reason. I think they just made some of the V triggers incredibly stupid uh, to the point where pro players and even and spectators uh, alike were just criticizing the system itself. When I think the system can work. Uh, and it can work really great if you design it properly. I mean, initially when Balrog got released, um, Bonchan, 
I, I gotta say it. Uh, Bonchan said, whoever came up with the design of Boxer <laughs> is retarded. That was his words, okay? Uh, that's what he said. Um, and I gotta agree. I gotta agree with like the stupidity of some of the V triggers where I felt like I felt like the developers were trying to create hype, but what they really did was create inconsistency when it comes to gameplay. And good play was simply not rewarded anymore. I think that's a major issue. If you, like you could just keep hitting ball wrong, and then he pops V trigger, which you cannot avoid, and he gets a free sequence two or three times where he can just flat out kill you without taking a major risk. And I think. I hope Luke is going to be different from that. I mean, we already have some signs he's going to be different. His V-Trigger, if you hit him when he has V-Trigger active, you're punishing him hard. So he better have some good activations, and then he has to think about when to use the V-Trigger. And on top of that, he has to get an opening. And if he doesn't get that, if the opponent gets an opening instead, well, then he gets, he actually gets punished <laughs> for popping V trigger, right? So, um, that's really interesting. That's, that's, I'd see like, now that I see that, now that I see that, it makes me feel like some of the, uh, some of the V triggers in Street Fighter V could have been so much more interesting. I'm excited. I'm excited. That's all I can say at this point. Uh, I'm excited for Luke. I'm going to try him out for sure next week. There's no doubt about that. Um, and I'm even more excited for the future. I mean, in February 2022, that's in three months, guys. In three months, we'll know more about the future of Street Fighter as a whole. And I think that's incredible. I'm very excited for that. But yeah, I think I really don't have anything more to say about um, the, the showcase fall update this was the final update so yeah uh, it was nice seeing myself it was a bit weird but um yeah i really enjoyed th these updates in general so it's gonna be kind of sad to see them go but at the same time uh very excited for the future and i hope you're too so yeah that'll be it